Hey everybody, how are you doing? Thanks for being here, thanks for watching. I'm really glad to be able to share to you today a bunch of tips from some of our UNT Jazz Trombone Studio students. They've been kind enough to each record uh, a little bit of a tip for you, the new auditionees, and uh, anyone that's trying to audition at UNT in the future. And uh, really this applies to any audition and they have some great advice for you. So I hope you enjoy this video and uh, like, subscribe, comment, send us a thank you mail, uh, greeting cards, whatever you want. So uh, thanks for being here. Enjoy the tips and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Hi, my name is Jackson Churchill and I'm a master's student here at UNT. My audition tip is all about the things that you can do in the days leading up to your audition so that you can feel and play your best when the spotlights are on. The first is to get good sleep, not only the night before, but also two nights before the audition. This will help your body recover and make you feel super ready to have a great day. Make sure to dress in comfortable dress clothes that make you look good, but also make you feel good. Eat good meals the night before and the morning of your audition. Good, clean food will convince your body that you're ready to have a great audition. Finally, walk around with confidence. Put a smile on your face. Put a spring in your step. Feel proud about the work that you've done for this audition. Your confidence will shine through in your playing. Best of luck, and we hope to see you at UNT. Hi there. My name is Austin Woolsey, and I'm a senior jazz trombonist here at UNT. For those auditioning for the program, my advice would be control what you can control, uh, which means don't over practice the day of your audition. Uh, have a normal warm up. I like to do uh, my warm up in the morning on the day of a big audition. Um, do a normal warm up, take several hours break, listen to the music or play it on piano, something else if you feel that you need to, and then have a small mini version of your warm up right before your audition, but don't go crazy. Uh, and just take a deep breath and you're gonna do great. Hello, my name is Max and I'm a fourth year jazz studies major here at UNT. Um, what I've learned based on my personal experience being here so far is that the day of the audition is not the day to be practicing anything, but you should prepare as much as you can before the day so that on that day you can worry about things like getting in the right headspace, focusing, getting in an amazing warm up, drinking lots of water, staying hydrated so that you can go into your audition feeling good, feeling warm and not being chopped out so that you don't sound bad in your audition from doing all the practicing before. But on the day of the audition, I like to meditate and get in a good headspace as well as get an amazing warm up so that I can be ready to go. I can have the most confidence possible so that I can perform to the best of my ability and so that my chops can be feeling good. It's super important to feel normal, so to speak, when audition day comes. Make sure you sleep as much as you normally do, make sure you eat how you normally do, and most important, make sure you don't mess with your warm-up or your daily routine. That means don't play any more or less than what you normally do. If you're like me and you spend an hour plus on your daily warm-up, that also might mean taking some time between your warm-up and your audition to make sure you feel in good shape. But also don't scamp out on any of your exercises. Make sure you really take your time and feel secure about it. Your playing in an audition should feel just as comfortable and familiar as it does any other day. All that is to say, don't add any unnecessary stress to your audition by taking yourself out of how you normally feel when you're playing and practicing. An important thing to do when auditioning for schools is to get in touch with the teachers and try to get lessons and advice from them beforehand. Many teachers will be happy to do this and this will let you know what the teachers have to offer you. And also, if you take the lessons that they taught you and try and internalize them as much as possible for before your audition, you know what they're going to be listening for and you can prove that you're not only a great player, but a great student. <laughs>